Yeah, there's definitely six inches of dry shed on her neck right now. And so that water helped loosen it up and now it's flaking off and actually I could possibly help her get it off. She is not a friendly king cobra. Let me clarify that. Ain't nothing but skill. Hear her growling? going on beautiful people welcome back to my wildlife we are in the the room that's being renovated to be turned into a public display for venomous reptiles down here at the Everglades outpost so in the next month or so come check it out all these beautiful snakes are gonna be on display but obviously right now we're in a little bit of a, a jamble a little bit of a, a mishap because we got so much going on so much painting we have to do exhibits maybe set up this is all like behind the scenes for you guys a special little treat and you know what else is a special little treat my special guest Tyler Nolan <laughs> hey, I'm Jade the Black-Throated Monitor Lizard. What's going on, dude? We were just playing Seven Minutes in Heaven. Oh, it was good. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. She been good with you? What? She is. What, what's on your back? What? It's protection, bro. No, I was talking about the eyelash viper tattoo. That's pretty sweet. Oh, no, it's a bush viper. A thurus. Nice. Oh. So, I need to do some cleaning today, as you know, because I invited you here, and that's why we're in front of the camera right now. I gotta take care of my King Cobra Justina. She laid a nice big shed. We're gonna stretch that out, see if it's a whole piece. Soak her, because she's got a little bit stuck around her neck. Change her water, take out the poop, and then I have a couple other snakes I wanna clean and take care of. You know, you haven't really seen the snakes lately. Yeah, no. And you gotta come see got the snakes. a few more since last time. Can you hold some of my snakes? Yes. Sweet. Easily. Right. Let's get into it. Do you wanna hold on to her like that while I do this? Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you guys come take a look, you can see this big shed that Justina's laid, and she's actually coiled up in that corner. So I'm gonna unlock the cage. He's gonna hold on to Jade. He's gonna try and hold on to Jade and keep her away. Let's see. So as you guys know, Justina is the spiciest of all the meatballs in the room. She loves to shoot out, posture. She loves to do all that fun stuff. Look, there's part of the shit. You can see how big those belly scales are on the sink. Have you gotten to see Justina lately? I have not. She used to be on display at Jay's shop, so I used to see her there all the time. See, see that stuck shit on her neck right there? Yeah. So she got most of it, but she's got a lot more that needs to come out. Has she eaten since she's been here? Oh, yeah, dude. She's already. She, she's she looks. She looks thicker. Yeah, she's already pounded a ball python, because I know that's what she was used to, and then I got her onto Burmese python. She, so. looks, she looks thick. Yeah, she's gonna get bigger. And then hopefully soon, a little, a little secret, uh, this whole entire room right next to you might end up being the whole entire King Cobra enclosure soon. So she might have her own big exhibit. Here she comes. Have you ever seen this? She's got like a battle scar right here. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely a warrior of a snake. Yeah, wow. I never really noticed how she's got some. Yeah, she she's awesome, I love her. You're growling? Yeah. She's pretty, nice looking in though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's definitely a lighter color in though. Beautiful snake. You want to handle one a little bit? Sure. Because I know you don't have a king in the collection, right? Oh, come on, Justina, don't hold on me like that. Now, obviously, Tyler is one of very few people I would let handle any of my venomous reptiles. See, she opens her mouth, she postures. She's a really good king. Yeah, there's definitely six inches of dry shed on her neck right now. You guys may be at home like, oh my god, they're just messing with a the snake, they're being ridiculous. No, I'm utilizing his capability to handle the snake and my capability to extract the snake to get a good look at the neck, which, you know, probably couldn't get a good look before we just stuck her range with the can. So I can see there's a lot of stuff shed around her neck, but the rest of her body's pretty clean, we're good to go. She's the 
spiciest girl around. Shed right here. It's not a whole shed, but that's a lot of shed. Look at that. Damn. Look at the belly scales on that snake. It's like a finger. It is. It's huge. Like giant french fries. Those are all the belly scales. And stretched out. Even though there's bits and pieces missing, that's a big shed. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Real cool. You want to, you want to kick it I off? actually do want to keep it because my new, yeah, honestly, my new tattoo shop. I'm opening up a new tattoo shop right now. Sunshine State Tattoos. Sunshine State Tattoos. But I'm going to have a couple rattlesnakes on display. And the coffee table at my shop, I'm going to put uh, like brass ammunition. And then I'm going to epoxy some snake shit in. Also. Dude, take it. It's all yours. Here, take the little bits too. And make some stuff with this. Do you, do you need any snake poop? Because I got some. Nah, uh, get on the snake. Are you sure? I, I got can grab it. It's right here. I got plenty at home. All right. I appreciate the gesture, though. All right, so we're going to be cleaning out this cage. I'm going to be taking some spicy meatballs out. Could you do me a favor and change this water up for me? Is there in that vacuum sink? And then... Uh... Oh, that is... that's very nice. Oh, yeah. It looks like we're good to go. Let me just move some mulch around. So we got some more. Oh, look at this, guys. This is really cool. So this is... These are the head scales and also the eye caps of the King Cobra. And you can actually see that little thin membrane, that scale that covers the eye. And what happens is if they don't have enough humidity and they have problems shedding, this eye cap never comes off, it gets stuck, and every time they shed, another layer goes on, another layer goes on, and eventually the animal can go blind because its eye is stuck in all that dead skin. So it's very important to get them off. But both eye caps are there, so we're good to go. Do you need a head? Do you need a little head? Oh, that's awesome. So we're going to let Justina soak in there for another 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to put this shell right back in there. The water's going back. Where's Jade? Jade's over there doing Jade stuff. Yep, she's good. She's my favorite lizard. Oh, your black, your black dragons are going to be this big pretty soon. Oh yeah. They're going to be real big. big pop They're poop machines, man. Dude, what do you, I, well, when was the last time you seen my American croc? Not talking about when you just walked in, but it's been a couple months since you guys actually like held the croc, so come check it out. Ziggy's doing really good. We're actually going to be filming a video on Tyler's channel today, so he's going to be feeding Ziggy. But if you want, you can gently pick him up. He's going to squirm a little bit, but he's not a biter. It's okay, Ziggy. It's okay, Ziggy. He's so cool. Isn't that awesome? It's a baby dinosaur. Dude. Literally, it's going to be able to get like 16, 17 feet long, a skull longer than my torso. You know, one of two species of crocodile on the planet to be able to live in the ocean and excrete salt out of salt glands. Imagine looking back at like now being able to hold them in your hand, you know, compared to how big he's going to get. Isn't it crazy? You're going to be like, oh look, he used to be able to hold them in my hand. Because I'm 21 turning 22 in January. This animal is only seven months old, eight months old. So by the time I'm in my 40s, I'm going to be riding and drinking a beer in my yard in Loxahatchee, Florida. So yeah, Ziggy's doing pretty good. He's getting bigger. And I was showing you in one of my last videos how calm he's been getting. Because you can actually, once you pet his chin a little bit, once you calm him down, you can actually pet his teeth. It's pretty crazy. And he doesn't bite. That's awesome. That's impressive. Yeah, because sure. most yeah, actual people, crocodiles yeah. are defending their lives. People don't so understand scared. how snappy these little guys normally are. Like they're fast. They got sharp little teeth. Yeah, they're they're made to grab every little fish in the water. They live in mangroves, grabbing crabs and everything. Yeah. So that Ziggy Ziggy's doing awesome. We'll come back in a minute and we'll actually feed them for your video. But uh, yeah, let's go over here. Ready to put Justina back? Let's see how she's doing. She's floating. She's floating. Look at this. So, as I said before, she had that stuck shed, that six inches of stuck shed going down her neck. Look at it all flaking right now around her neck region. So that water helped loosen it up, and now it's flaking off. And actually, I could possibly help her get it off. Watch 
this. She is not a friendly king cobra. Let me clarify that. Gently pull the skin off. And that's why we soak. Take that to the to the editor, Donnie. That's skill right there, son. Yeah. Ain't nothing but skill. Hear her growling. So I've gotten most of it off. And that's the last little bit right there. See that last little chunk hanging? See, she started looking at me. So I got most of it off. I'm going to show her a little home. Or, I thought she was going to go to her home, but I guess not. Right there, sweetie. I've seen some impressive things, and that is pretty impressive. For sure. Almost. That takes skill. Like, people don't understand how much skill that takes. Thanks, man. Sweet. Booyah! And that's how you remove stuffed chef from a peanut butter's neck. With finesse. With finesse. And Jay! Come to join us. Have you been sweet-hot? Did you want to help clean the enclosure? Because you showed up at the last second. Hey, girl. She's such a sweetie. Come here, sweetie. All right, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me on another... What you... What was that? Did you try to kiss my neck? Not in front of the viewers. Anyway, so, thank you for joining us on another My Wild Life. Go check out Tyler's channel. Stay tuned with him because he's got a new tattoo shop coming down the road. And uh, I, might, cool. uh, I might want uh, an American crocodile uh, running up my arm onto my chest. Soon it's happening. Yes. Uh, 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 put the crocodile on me, maybe? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's going to be fine. All right, guys. Peace.